Good evening, dear viewers. And it's really great to see you on top of this week. For six days, India has only discussed one word. And that one word is called demonetization. It's a complex word. And hiding behind its complexity are a group of vested interests who are preying on the hassle a common man goes through when he stands outside an ATM and doesn't have the cash he needs or when he or she is standing in a 5-hour queue and while he and she want the country to change is also upset at the inconvenience that they are experiencing. Yes, there is inconvenience, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to ask you something else tonight. I want to ask you whether we, you and me, should let a group of selfish interest groups who've never cared for us over the years suddenly come and take advantage of our inconvenience to protect their interests. Viewers, I'm asking you whether you should be used. Whether you should be used as a crutch by these politicians. As a tool to ensure that they don't have to burn their black money overnight, which is what the Prime Minister wants them to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we have heard stories in the last few days, and all of them can't be false, I'm sure, of trucks full of cash, 500 and 1000 rupee notes coming out from some Neta's house. And I'm very sure that tonight that Neta would be watching to see if there can be enough confusion built into the system using you using you, Mark, that his or her trucks of cash can be brought back to their house and the hundreds of thousands of crores that they've stashed are not burnt, but stay with them. But let me tell you something, dear viewers. Let me ask you something more fundamental. Firstly, I want to request all of you not to get confused, but I want to ask you who will gain if the dirty cash comes back to that Neta's house. Yes, you are inconvenienced. Yes, the queues are long and often tired. But I have also seen hope at those ATMs. And I have seen the hope in the eyes of the common man and woman that besides the inconvenience and beyond the inconvenience, this country can change. And yes, I know tonight that the system is still coping with the full impact of this colossal one move against black money. But my question to you tonight is this, who will gain if the dirty cash comes back? I will tell you viewers, those who rake in thousands of crores in capitation fees in schools and colleges, they will gain and they will love to have the dirty cash back. Those who deny the poor a simple house, a one-room house, by artificially inflating the real estate sector with tons of black money, they will want the black money back, they will want the dirty cash back, and they will celebrate, viewers, if the dirty cash comes back using you and these netas. These same netas, many of whom I have exposed over the last 10 years of bringing you this broadcast on Times Now. These netas who treat the Yam Admi with contempt because they think their black money can win them votes. Because they think their black money can even spark a riot in this country and divide the people. They will want the dirty cash back. And that is why I am saying to you tonight that despite the pain, despite the little or a lot of hardship and despite even probably some tough days ahead, don't give up viewers, don't give up against the black money hoarders because if those people today who have destroyed this system and this country for decades 
And I'm saying this to you tonight, viewers, from the bottom of my heart, because those of you who know me know that over the last 10 years, I've had the opportunity of breaking some of the big scams of this country with my team. Viewers, don't let the scamsters win. Don't let the deal makers win. Don't let the corrupt win. Don't let them win, worst of all, using your name. Don't let them use you to win, viewers. This is really a dangerous fight that we are in and we must win. Don't let the scamsters win using your name. My debate tonight is on why we can't have the political will to fight black money. And I want to know, viewers, where you stand on it. That's debate number one, three minutes from now on the news are tonight. And followed by debate number two, a broader question that I have for all my dear newer news are viewers tonight. Viewers, I hate the status quo if it serves the interests of only a few people. Can we disrupt the status quo this time? Or should we compromise and go back and forget this black money fight? That's a broader question. The issue is not demonetization. The issue is what we want this country to be.